जय हिंद वेलकम टू द कोर्स नेटवर्क एनालिसिस एंड सिंथेसिस एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मैट्रिक्स अप्रोच ऑफ नेटवर्क एनालिसिस सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस नोड एंड मेस एनालिसिस टू कैरी आउट नेटवर्क एनालिसिस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डिफरेंट अप्रोच टू सॉल्व ए नेटवर्क so basically this is uh, this is basically row uh, row reduction method in this what we do we just apply some laws uh, to write the linear equations and the, then the linear equations are written in matrix form and in matrix we carry out some row operations row reduction method to get this this form reduce row echelon form so our job is to get the matrix in this format suppose it is 3 by 3 and then we have some variables c1 c2 c3 so this c1 c2 c3 will give the value of your uh, variables so in this what we do we just write these equations so these equations are written based upon some certain laws applying the either the kirchhoff's current law or kirchhoff's voltage law we we just write these equations and after writing these equations what we do we just write in the matrix form so these are this uh, this is the matrix form these are the coefficients these coefficients of matrix are just uh, element of the network and this is the variable v1 v2 v3 so our job is to find the value of v1 v2 v3 just applying the row reduction method so finally what you have to do we have to just write this equations this matrix in place of v1 v2 v3 what we have done we have just written v1 v2 v3 so v1 v2 v3 it if you apply the kirchhoff's Uh, voltage law then uh, these are the uh, voltages if you apply the kirchhoff current law then these are the current values so after applying row reduction method we get this so this is the reduced row echelon form this is the reduced row echelon form so finally we have to get this format when we get this so, so we can find the value of c1 c2 c3 and c1 c2 c3 will give the value of v1 v2 v3 so this v1 is 3 by 3 so this v1 is equal to c1 v2 is equal to c2 and v3 is equal to c3 so this way we can solve the linear equations so what are what are the c1 c2 c3 after applying the just come to the previous slides here so this 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 is basically this is b1 b2 b3 so applying row reduction we get this so b1 becomes c1 b2 becomes c2 and b3 becomes c3 and this final c1 c2 c3 will give the value of b1 b2 b3 clear so this is the theory about the uh, applying the matrix approach to solve a uh, given networks so just we uh, try to understand this uh, approach using some numericals so say now come to this this is the numerical we have solved we have solved this circuit by using the node analysis and mesh analysis now i am going to solve this circuit using the matrix approach so to apply the matrix approach first you have to write the linear equations depending upon the uh, type of either using the kirchhoff's voltage law or using the kirchhoff's current law so this circuit is very suitable for applying the kirchhoff's voltage law sorry kirchhoff's current law because nodal analysis is very uh, very uh, convenient so what we do we just apply take a reference node and apply kco at node v1 so we can write these equations in the previous lecture i have i have just explained all these equations how how i have written 
so apply uh, Kirchhoff's current law at node v1. So at node v1, we can see that there are four current variables. So there are four current variables. Then apply Kirchhoff's uh, current law at node v2. Again, we can see that here is one current variable, uh, second one, third, and fourth. So there will be the four current variables, and because there are three variables and we have written, we need uh, three equations. So the third, this is the third equations. So we have written these three equations. Okay. So put this i is equal to v2 by um, 5. We can put here and here and we can get these linear equations. So before applying the row reduction method, what you have to do? You have to write the linear equations either using the Kirchhoff's current law or Kirchhoff's voltage law depending upon the uh, 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 which type of circuit it is, it, whether it is convenient to apply Kirchhoff's current law or Kirchhoff's, volt, uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law. So uh, I have written these two linear equations. Now these two linear equations are written in matrix form. Mm. And using row reduction method, what we do? We just convert into row, reduce row echelon form and finally we can get the value of V1 and V2. So this, this can be written as, this is your, uh, this, this is, so where we can see here in place of V1, V2, I have written 4 and 3. So after applying the row reduction method, we get unit matrix and whatever variable we are getting here that will give the value of V1 and V2. Simple. So our job is to first find, uh, first write the linear equations, then write in, in, in matrix form and try to apply row reduction method to get the reduced row echelon form. So now this is the matrix. So our job is to to get this, our job is to get this form and say suppose it is coming C1 and C2. Finally, we have to get this, this is the final which is basically it is row, row reduced echelon form. And whatever the value we get here of value of C1 and C2, that will give the uh, V1 and of and V2. Okay. Now, so apply row reduction method. So what we are going to do? Apply 20 by 3 R1 to R1. So just multiply row. R1 row, first row, R1 row by 20 by 3. So, this will become R1 and at the same time multiply R2 uh, 20 by 7 to R2 that will be the R2. So, this we have applied. So, after multiplying 20 by 3, we are getting 1 here and 1 here and this, this. So, this, this value, this value gets changed here. Okay. So, this is the first step. So, apply 20 by 3, 20 by 3, multiply R1 by 20 by 3, that will be the R1. So, this is R1 and second step is multiply R2 by 20 by 3. So, this is the R2. After multiplication, we get this, uh, uh, this form of the matrix. Now, again, this is the first step we can say here. This is the first step. This is your second step. So, in the second step, apply 1 by 7 R1. What does it mean? It means multiply first row by 1 by 7 and subtract it from the R2. So, after multiplication by 1 by 7 R1 deduct R2, we get the R2. So, basically we are going, we are going to change this row. And what is the operation? Multiply 1 by 7 R1 and minus R2. So, this will be like this. So, 
we can see here the R1 is R1 row is remain same, no changes, only changes in R2. So, this is your R2 and this is your R1 because operation is on R2. What, of, what is the operation? Operation is multiply 1 by 7 with row R1 and deduct R2. So, this is the R2. So, with this value, this same and this has changed. We can see here. Now, so this is the second step. Now, third step. What is the third step? Third step is again change in R2, multiply 20 by 10, 21 by 10 R2. So, multiply R2 by minus 21 by 10. So, we get this. So, again this, again this, this value is getting changed here. Okay. So, this is the third operation. Now, this is the fourth step. What is the fourth? Multiply R2 by 11 by 3. Okay. And deduct this from the R1. So, the, this is the operation, uh, this is the R1 and this is R2. So, this time operation on R1. Okay. R2 remains same, no changes in the R2, only changing change takes place row R1, R1. Okay. So, once we do this, we get this. So, this is your this is the row reduced equilon form. So, our job is to get this. Once we get this, we can find the value of V1 and V2. So, what is the value? Value of V1 is minus 10 volt, this one, and V2 is. 10 volt. So, this way we can find the values of V1 and V2 using the matrix approach. So, matrix approach in this we have to apply the row reduction method to get the reduced row equilon form. Once we get this form, we can get the value of V1 and V2. Okay. So, this way, so this is the answer. So, this is this is the answer because uh, our job is to find the node voltages B1 and B2 using the matrix approach. So, what we, what we have done in summary, we can say that first apply the Kirchhoff's current law at the nodes, write the linear equations, then write these equations in matrix form and apply row reduction method to get the reduced row equilon form. We can uh, apply matrix approach using matrix approach to find the loop currents. So, basically uh, to find the node voltages, we apply Kirchhoff's current law. To find the loop currents or mesh currents, we apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. So, approach is same. What we have to do? We have to write the Kirchhoff's voltage law to write the to find the linear equations. Once we get the linear equations, we write in matrix form, and once we we, we write the in matrix form, we apply the reduced row reduction method to get the RREF. So let us so here. So there are three three fundamental loops. And three loop uh, loops current I1, I2, I3. So we can see that from the ins by inspection we can write the I1 is one ampere. So I1 is one ampere because this current is flowing through this. So this I1 is one ampere. So this this uh, be because there are three equations, uh, three um, loops current. So, we have to uh, write the matrix dimension will be 3 by 3. So, this equation can be written as this I1 into 0 into I2, 0 into I3 is equal to 0. Okay. So, this is first equation. Now, second equation apply 
किर्चोस वोल्टेज लॉ इन द लूप डी ए डी ए बी डी सो डी ए बी डी सो फ्रॉम डी टू ए सो फ्रॉम डी टू ए द करेंट इज आई वन माइनस आई टू आई वन माइनस आई टू फ्रॉम ए टू डी एन ऑब्जर्वर इज मूविंग फ्रॉम डी टू ए सो डी टू ए he or she will experience potential gain so here is plus 5 i1 minus i2 so this is the voltage now a to b so current current through a to b is i2 which is flowing from a to b and observer is also moving from a to b so he or she will experience a potential fall so here we have written the negative sign minus 5 i2 now come to b to d so b to d Current is from B to D, D I two minus I three will be B to D and I three minus I two will be D to B. So I just I am assuming the current through ten ohm resistor is I two minus I three. So my I two minus I three will be current from flowing from B to D and observer is also moving from B to D. So he will experience a potential. Fall, so that's why is negative sign. So this 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 uh, this equation we have written by applying the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now this can be arranged in this form. So I one, I two, and I three. So this is the second equation. Now third third is apply KVL in the loop D B C D in this loop in this fundamental loop. Apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. So D to B. So B we are moving D to B. A current is I two minus three, which is from B to D. So here will be plus ten I two minus three. So this is voltage. Current through B to C. B to three is I three. Here current is I three. Current is I three, so minus minus five five three because current is flowing from B to C and observer is also moving from B to C, so he or she will experience a potential fall. So that's why minus then C to D, so C to D plus to minus so minus ten this side plus ten. So this is the third equation. So this is the third. So We have written three equations, three three linear equations. We can see here in first equation I two and I three they are absent, so we have written I one plus zero I two plus zero I three. Here I one I two I three all three loops currents are present, so no problem. Look at here. Here there is I two and I three only. So what we have to write? We have to just write zero into I one. Plus twice I two minus three I two is equal to two. So this we can write this in the matrix form. So all these three equations, linear equations, can be written in the matrix form. So first we have to get this this matrix by using the some appropriate techniques, either using the Kirchhoff's current law or Kirchhoff's voltage law. So this. now our job is to find the reduce rho equilon form remember we have to find rho, uh, reduce rho equilon form that means you have to you have to get the unit matrix of the coefficients the coefficient matrix should be or must be unit matrix so so this is the first step So in place of I one, I two, I three, because you have to find the I one, I two, I three, we have written one zero two here, okay, and then convert this coefficient matrix into unit matrix, and by converting we this value will also change. So finally, when we get the unit matrix of the coefficient, this value will change, get changed, and this will give the I one, I two, I three. This is the algorithm. Simple algorithm.
now now operation on row 2 this is this means we are going to operate row 2 how r2 minus r1 so the second step will be this is the second this is the first one on this so this is the first step r2 minus r1 so from the previous matrix deduct r2 from r1 so this is the r2 r2 so this value this changed value whereas first row and third row the values are same because we have carried out operation on row 2 now so this is the first step we get this one now this is the second step this is the second step so apply twice r2 so multiply the row 3 by 2 and add r2 we get the r3 so here we are going to change the row 3 how how we are going to change the row 3 because we multiply the previous uh, row of the matrix this r3 by 2 and add r2 so r3 will be twice r2 plus r3 so this is the matrix we can get this even even we can also get the value of i1 i2 i3 from here also ok i1 then i2 i3 because here i1 is here i1 is 1 and i3 is i3 is minus 3 by 4 so i1 and i2 are getting so from here we can also get so suppose if the matrix is of the large order 4 by 4 5 by 5 so this way we because the we can see that this is the diagonal element and this are lower diagonal elements upper diagonal element of diagonal elements lower of diagonal elements upper diagonal elements we can see that all the elements of the lower of diagonal elements are zero so this is i1 so i1 is equal to 1 but this equation is so i1 is 1 okay and i2 so minus 4 4 i2 plus twice i3 is equal to minus 1 and minus 4 i3 is equal to 3 so i3 is minus 3 by 4 ok ampere so once we get the i3 from here we can get the i2 so if the matrix this is not reduced row equivalent form the in the reduced row equivalent form this coefficient matrix must be unit matrix remember but when when the matrix uh, dimension is very large suppose it is of the order of 5 into 5 4 by 4 so once we get this form either the uh, upper upper of diagonal elements are 0 or lower of diagonal elements are 0 we can find the variables no problem but using the rref you have to convert this coefficient matrix into a unit matrix so let us see now this is the third step apply now there is there is operation on r2 so r2 will change if we, we multiply twice r2 means and add r3 so what is the operation multiply by 2 this row and add r3 we get the r2 so this is so multiply 2 and add r3 so this is r2 so we can see here so this is min, min 2 into 0 0 minus 4 into 2 minus 8 4 and minus 2 ok now add this so this 0 
So, 2, 2 into 4 for 0 minus 2 or 3. So, this way. So, here, here basically it is minus 8, minus 8 plus 0. So, minus 8, 4, minus 4, so 0, so this 0. Here, minus 2 plus 3, so it is 1, so it is 1. So, this is the row operation. What is the operation? Multiply R2 by 2 and add R3, we get the R2. So, this is the third step. Now, come to the fourth step. This is your fourth step. Fourth step is apply R2 by 8. R2 by 8 means multiply 1 by 8 this row 1 by 8. So, and this will be the R2 and minus 1 by 4 by R3. So, we have to change R2 and R3 according to this operation. So, R2 will after multiplying 1 by 8 R2, we write the R2 and after multiplying 1 by 4 R3, we get R3. So, this matrix will change. So, R2 and R3 will, will get changed. Theke? So, so, this is. So, now this is the, this is your reduced row equilon form, RREF. This is RREF. So, here we can see that I1 is equal to 1, 1 ampere. This is your I2, I I2 is minus 1 by 8 and I3 is minus 3 by 4 ampere, ampere. Okay. So, this is, this is the reduced row equilon form. But when the, we can see here in the midway we get this value of I1 and I3. So, this I3 and I3 same and we put I3 here we get the I2. So, this is the uh, reduce row equilon form here, where the coefficient matrix is unit matrix and this, these are the values of I1, I2 and I3. So, this way, this way we can solve the linear equations. So, basically matrix approach is uh, used to solve the linear equations and how you get the linear equations? If the net matrix, uh, if the uh, network or circuit is given, we apply some uh, laws and after applying some laws, we get equations. Those equations are linear equations, these equations are written in matrix form and applying the row reduction method, we get the reduced row equilon form and we which, uh, which gives the value of I1, I2, I3. In this case, in the previous case, it was B1, B2. So, this is the way to solve the, to carry out the network analysis using the matrix approach. One, th one thing I would like to make it clear here, there is a difference between the Kramer's rule and this reduced row equilon form. In the Kramer's rule, what we do, we use the determinant, we write the matrix and take the determinant. So, in the true sense, Kramer's rule is not a matrix approach, it is a determinant approach. So, whenever and whenever, whenever, whenever it is being asked to apply the matrix approach, you have to follow these, these rules and regulations. Okay. So, this is about the matrix approach. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.